In this video I'm going to introduce P25 trunking. In the basic radio awareness course, the principles of trunking were introduced. It was explained that unlike conventional radio, in trunking a pool of channels are available for communication and they are automatically allocated for groups on the network. Trunking uses channels much more effectively than conventional systems where a channel is required for each group. For public safety, trunking is often used for the large statewide networks. This allows a pool of channels to be shared by a large number of public safety agencies without each agency having to go out and source their own channels for communication. It allows logical groups or teams of people to be added to the network by allocating an ID for that group to communicate on rather than having to allocate a particular radio channel. And that group can then be available throughout the entire coverage area of the system rather than being restricted to particular geographic areas. Trunking also allows additional features such as emergency preemption. This allows a channel that's being used for a non-important routine conversation to be preempted or taken over by an emergency call when someone is in a life-threatening situation. Also, because a pool of channels are available for communication, if there's a fault or outage in the network, rather than one group losing communication, the remaining channels in the pool continue to carry all of the system loading. A P25 radio on a trunk network operates very similar to the way a P25 radio on a conventional network operates. Often you select the group that you're going to talk on by using the channel selector at the top and you press the push to talk button to communicate just as you would selecting a conventional channel and communicating on that channel. The actual operation of trunking is almost transparent to the user. The main difference that you may notice is a go-ahead beep which tells you when the channel has been allocated and your communication can start. If you're configuring a radio for a trunked statewide network, one of the terms that you might be familiar with is a WACN or a Wide Area Communication Network Number and a System ID. This defines or identifies that particular trunked network. So when you turn your radio on, it knows which network to use for communication because it's possible for there to be more than one P25 network in a particular area. For example, there might be a statewide network as well as a separate network operating in the city. Many of the features of P25 are available in both conventional and trunked operation. Talk group calls, which is a one-to-many call, as well as unit-to-unit -unit calls are supported in trunking. There's also announcement group calls, which are, is a call to a large group of groups on the network. Some trunk systems also support dynamic regrouping, where teams of people can be allocated dynamically from the dispatch centre as new incidents occur, rather than having to be pre-programmed in the radio. There's also emergency calls, where in an emergency situation you can be given priority access to the system, which allows you to preempt channels that are already in use. The basic radio awareness course introduced the principles of trunking that trunking is a more efficient use of the available radio spectrum. For P25, the benefits of trunking often come down to emergency calls, the dynamic allocation of teams, and the ability to share resources between different public safety organisations, sharing the cost and maximising the coverage of the radio system.